I'm standing here in Paris, very close to the Rue de Bac, where St. Catherine Labouré received the apparitions of Our Lady in a chapel, uh, the, chap the apparitions that led to the Miraculous Medal. On July 19th, St. Catherine uh, was woken up by a, a child's voice calling her to the chapel, and Our Lady wanted to entrust her with a mission. Then she had an apparition in November of the Miraculous Medal, as we understand it now, as we've seen it. These, uh, there was an image of Our Lady uh, holding out her hand with rays coming from rings on her, on her uh, fingers. And these rays were God's graces coming out on the world. Mary is interceding for us. On the medal uh, is said, O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. So it was a very great connection with the Immaculate Conception because Mary was conceived without sin. Now this took place in 1830, so it was still 24 years before the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception and the apparitions in Lourdes, where Bernadette uh, had an apparition of Our Lady in which she, she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. But already for 200 years, the founder of the Marian, St. Stanislaus, had been promoting the Immaculate Conception. It was a belief of the Church, it wasn't yet a dogma of the Church. So on this medal it says, Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. And there were some rings in which there was no rays coming from them. And St. Catherine came to know that this was because this was for graces that people had not asked for. We can ask for graces and we should ask for graces and always open our hearts to God for the graces. On the other side of the miraculous medal, there's a letter M, remembering Mary as our mother. Over that is a cross, remembering the cross of Jesus Christ, surrounded by 12 stars. We can think of the 12 apostles and the 12 tribes of Israel and also the 12 stars that surrounded Our Lady clothed with the sun in uh, the um, book of Revelation. And then there's the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus on the left and the Immaculate Heart of Mary on the right. Jesus died out of love for us to save us from our sins and Mary is always interceding for us and her heart is so united with that of her son Jesus. So it's a beautiful uh, image, it's a beautiful medal, and many, many graces have been received from many people throughout the world when they uh, receive the Miraculous Medal. Mother Teresa of Calcutta always gave out Miraculous Medals. I received a Miraculous Medal from Mother Teresa, and I used to uh, pray the Novena of the Miraculous Medal as a young boy. So it's a beautiful prayer to always remember, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Amen. Thank you.